tip from the NAA forums. Basically, I uh, recently sent away for these two new belt buckles, and they came all the way from China. And we do unboxings all the time, but I never really paid attention to how neat their stamps are over there. And obviously the money's a little screwy because it only cost, well, like I say, it was under $10, but these are two $13 stamps and a $1.40 stamp. And they come from Hong Kong. Came through customs. Same thing with this one, just different stamps. But they got some pretty cool stamps over there. Alright, well, let's take a look at the belt buckles. Of course, one of the reasons I'm a big fan of these North American arms are because of their uh, famous belt buckles. So here's the nice made in China. <laughs> and this one even says North American arms on it. Anyone want to wager on whether or not they've actually got a license to have that on there? Alright, so there's the buckle. I wasn't sure if these pistols would come off or not. Looks like I could probably pry it off of there though. So the back of the buckle is pretty cheap. The cylinder does spin. Of course it's not a gun or anything. How is it for size? Not too bad. From a few feet away it actually kind of looks like the belt buckle. Alright, so that's the first one. And I forget how much these were, but maybe eight bucks, ten bucks. And for the price, I figured it'd be interesting to see if there was any other differences and just have them in the collection. So again, free floating thing. Yeah, this one looks pretty crude up here. Again, it looks like it could come apart, but I don't know if it's even a gun on the other side. You can see the three places where it's just sort of riveted on there. And we'll see how that one does for size. A little bit smaller than the real one, but pretty good likeness. So for another 20 bucks, I just added a couple of more gadgets to the NAA belt buckle collection. And here's a little closer look at those two new belt buckles. You can see where it would have said North American Arms, but it was just never painted in. So they're literally identical. However, the guns do just look a little bit different. And they're both marked Made in China. So if you're interested in getting yourself a belt buckle and you don't want to pay the somewhere around $400 that one would cost or the 300 and something dollars this one would cost or the maybe even more for that one then these less than $10 options might appeal to you. However, if you live in an area where wearing an open carry or a concealed carry revolver is not good, uh, you may want to think twice because these definitely could pass for the real deal from a few feet away. So be prepared to uh, be questioned about them if you do happen to choose one of these for the look of it. Alright, that's about it. Thanks again for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.